All right, today I'm going to go over windows and doors with you. Uh, or in this particular one, we're going to do doors. So I'm going to start with the six panel door and then we'll uh, move on to the other ones. So I'm going to uh, start with a rectangle and if you'll notice that it's three foot by six eight. So I'm going to start a rectangle that is 36 tab 80 enter. Pull it down. All right, so I have that. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and give the frame of the door. So I'm going to offset three and a half. I have that. Now I'm going to explode these two so I can utilize those uh, lines. So I'm going to do some trimming. I'm going to, uh, first I'm going to extend by pressing the shift key, extend those two out, and then I'm going to just sweep through this and get rid of those two. Okay. And then I hit escape to get out of it. Now, if you'll see here, I've got four inches here, and I've got four inches from the top. So I'm going to go and offset four inches from the side and from the top, just like that. My bottom one is nine inches, so I'm going to offset that nine inches. Okay, my smaller Rectangle up here at the top is nine inches. So I'm going to offset that to nine as well. And I'm going to offset that line an additional four. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do offset nine, four, two feet, six inches, two feet. And I should be able to come to, back to this place right here. Okay, so I'm going to offset. And I'm going to offset four inches. And then I'm going to offset two feet. And then I'm going to offset six inches. Now I have something that looks similar to that. So going side to side, I'm going to go offset one foot. And then I'm going to offset four inches. So offset four inches. I'm sorry. Offset one foot, and then offset four inches. Now, I could go through here and and uh, clean up all of these through trim, but to make it so much simpler, I'm going to go back to rectangle. And since I have me some guidelines in there, I can just go in here and add my rectangles. All I'm doing is hitting enter. And that will take me back into the rectangle. And I'm just going in here like this to make my rectangles. Okay, I'm going to, just so that I can, so you guys can see it a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and change those lines out to door. And then my uh, my rectangles that I made, I'm going to make them door as well. However, I'm going to change the color to magenta. Now you guys can kind of see where we're going here. Now I'm going to get rid of these guidelines. I don't need these guidelines any longer. So I'm going to delete those. And now I have this. So if we if we roll into this, you're going to see that I have a quarter inch offset for this small uh, offset here, this small little line. And those are only on the top and the right hand side. So I'm going to set that for 0.25. And I'm just going to pull into each one of those. Make sure that they go to the inside. Just 
just like so. Now my next offset is going to be one and an eighth inch, 1.125. Okay, now all I need to do is put my diagonals on there, and I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit on these. I'm going to put one in there, and I'm going to go ahead and match that property. So I click on Match Properties, click on this line here, and then I can click on that line, and it makes it the same uh, layer. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this line. This time I'm going to do mirror. I'm going to mirror this object here, which just puts it over like that. I do not want to erase it. And then I'm going to do the same thing again, going in the other direction. Now you see that I have these here. Now I'm just going to copy these and place it over here. So that's done. I'm going to highlight these two and I'm going to copy them. And I'm going to drop that there and drop these down here. Okay. Now I'm going to, I'm going to highlight the bottoms. Copy those. And then I'm going to drop those down here as well. Now that I have these, what I want to do is I'm going to get rid of some of these uh, double lines here, I want to get rid of the uh, left-hand side and the bottom. So I'm just going to trim, trim there and there, trim here and here. And then we have this. Perfect. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to go create. And I'm going to say uh, door 6P for six panel 36. I want to pick my point. Don't forget to pick your point. And my pick point is going to be right here, not over here, because when I go to uh, use my plan to make my elevations, then I want to be able to grab it from this point here. Okay, so now that it's opened back up, and there I have my door. All right, so let's move on and do some of the other doors. Where are they? We'll come uh, right over here. Okay, remember what I said that, you know, that one particular um, contractor, he wants to use one by sixes, but I want you guys to use one by fours because that's normally what's going to be in the field. All right, I'm going to highlight this door and I'm going to explode it. And I'm going to get rid of a couple of lines here. Actually, I probably need to explode these. So let's just explode those. And I'm going to get rid of these and those and this and that. And just leave... A couple of, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's let's do it a simpler way. Let's just click on rectangle, click on the top, come down here and click on the bottom, and then I'm going to highlight these others here and I'm going to erase them. Now I have that. Now it doesn't look exactly like mine, but it's okay. We can live with that if you want to. Uh, adjust these a little differently, you may certainly do so.
to make it look like that. Uh, I'm going to give you this measurement here. What is that? That's 36. And from side to side is 5 inches. So I'm going to grab this one side here. I'm just going to click on it, and I'm going to move it but I'm not going to click again. I'm going to type in one inch. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm just going to move it. I'm not going to click again. And I'm just going to type in one inch. Whoops. I don't know what that was. One inch. There we go. There we go. Now, um, I don't know if that's 36 or not. Let's let's find out. Let's let's just go ahead and measure this, this bottom piece here. And that is 11 inches. So what we got here, we have 8 and 7 eighths. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to move up. Just don't click again. And let's see, 8, 9. I'm going to go 1.125. And that moves that up, and that should be 11 inches if I did my calculations correctly. No, it's 10 inches, so we need to move it another inch. Okay, so just drop it there, and then you have it. I'm going to match my properties. Like so. And I'm going to offset uh, an eighth of an inch. No, it's a quarter of an inch. Sorry. Offset a quarter of an inch. And, of course, the cat wants out. Put that there. Put this here. Put this down here. Okay, and then I'm going to trim this one and that one. And I'm going to leave that, and I'm just going to match the properties on this other. Now, the only thing left I need to do is put in my window wipes. So I'm going to insert up here at the blocks. I'm going to tap on insert. And it takes a little bit sometimes for this to open. And I'm going to go all the way at the bottom. And there is my window wipe. And I'm going to put one, and then I'm going to do it again. Actually, I'm just going to copy that, hit copy, and put another one down here somewhere like that. Very good. All right, going to highlight this. Go to Create. I'm going to call this two pan, no, I'm sorry, door, two P, H, G, and that stands for half glass, 2P half glass 36. My pick point is going to, again, is going to be here on the trim and hit OK. Let me let this cat out. All right, so that one's down. So let's go to a simpler one. So we're going to copy that, and we're going to come over here to the full glass. Okay, I'm going to explode. I'm going to just grab this right here, and I'm going to pull it down to where it's equal with the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to tap that corner and then pull back to the center. So that I have that. Now I'm just going to grab this panel here and delete it. Grab this panel here and delete it. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to extend that down. I don't know. For some reason, it looks like it moved. I think it did move. I'm just going to delete that. I'll we'll do this again. I'll have to check that other one. I think I moved something wrong. I'm going to move over until that's straight. Actually, I know what I'm, I'm on 
nearest. I need to get off of that. There. And click. Match properties. Come back to the top, get that other one. Okay, so there is my full glass door. Going to highlight that. Go to create. So this is uh, FG, or excuse me, door. Keep forgetting that. FG for full glass 36. Pick point. Same point as before. And hit OK. All right. So let's. Uh, so remember, I told you that you can, you know, you can just go through there and make all of these different sizes with that 136 that we made. So uh, to uh, to make where'd I go? I got too much stuff open here. There we go. We're right here. So to make the half the uh, side glass. So let's take this door here and copy it. And I want to check that. I need to check that right there. I don't know. It just doesn't look. It doesn't look like it's off. Let's see what I got here. Vertical. Yes, it is off. My jingos. All right. So let's let's uh, explode that. And I'm gonna move. No, I didn't want to move it. I just need to grab that node and pull it over. I'm going to move this one. That's what I want to do. And then I can just move this one there. All right. Highlight that. Get rid of it. Now, I'm going to highlight this and re, uh, redo this one. So, create door uh, 2P half glass pick point. And bing -wah. Now we have a straight one. Now, for some reason, oh, I know what I did. I didn't put the 36 on there. So I've got an extra one. So let me explode that again. You got to make sure that you name them the same thing or you'll have a whole crap load of stuff. So door, uh, 2P, half glass, 36, pick point. Okay, and it's going to redefine it. So that's what we wanted to do was redefine that one. So now this one is now fixed automatically. Before it was bad because when we redefined re, uh, it, that made this one exactly like this one. Okay, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to clear that one out. And we'll get rid of this outside piece here. I'm going to offset for these sides here. And so notice what I'm doing here. So I went to offset. And instead of typing in a number, I just click and click. And that makes it the same. And then that way I can just drop it like that right there. Okay. So now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab that. Uh, that one foot six inch window or door, copy, pull it back over here where we're working. And I need to explode that one now. Okay. And I'm gonna we'll go ahead and change this over to door where we can see it a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this outer piece here. Uh, actually, I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to get rid of this, just the one there. Actually, let me see. How big is that? That's four inches. Okay, good. All right, so if you remember, I told you that this one needs to be uh, one foot. So I'm going to just go into the center of that thing like that, and I'm going to offset this six inches on both sides. Six and six. So that way I can just grab this one, move it into place. Notice that I didn't hit move. All I did was grab the, actually I am going to move this one and these 
because I do want to move those all together. Okay, so I can get rid of my guidelines. And so now I'm ready to move this down in here. However, I'm not going to copy this one. It's already there. But I'm going to use that as a guide so that I can just drop it in right there. And then I'm just going to delete that one. Now I'm going to highlight all of this. Don't need to highlight that. Highlight all of those uh, panels there. Go to Mirror. And I'm going to get in the middle. Just pop right there in the middle. And go up or down, either one. And I do not want to erase the other one. I'm going to uh, get rid of that center line that I had there. I'm going to highlight both of those. And then I'm going to hit Trim. Make sure I push Shift. And that way, those jump directly to that. And I can do the same thing down here as well. But I'm going to have to do it twice because of uh, it hit this one first. I'm going to hit uh, Enter and move those to the other side. So there we go. We have now our... Up. Oh, I need to do some cleaning here. I didn't realize that I had this like that. I guess I'm going to have to go back and fix all my other doors. Oh, and I'm, de uh, I'm deleting the wrong thing here. I need to do the top one and the left one. Top and left. Top and left. Okay, and erase. All right, now I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to create door uh, 2P half glass 36 uh, side, actually two side lights two side lights. Pick point. And again, I'm going to this bottom portion of the door here. I don't want to go out here. The bottom portion of the door. Bam. And hit OK. All right. Now I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to explode. And I'm going to uh, get rid of half of this. I'm just going to get rid of that as well. I'm going to offset that same distance, four inches there, and then I'm going to clean this up. Actually, I need to I need to take this and move it in. That's what I needed to do. Move in, and then I'm going to get rid of one of these lines. I don't need them both, and clean up again. Okay, so I'm going to highlight, create, door, 2P half glass, one side light. Pick point, click, and OK. Now, if I, you know, if this happens to be on the other side, all I'm going to do is just mirror the whole thing from the center and get rid of the first one. And now I've got it on the other side. So I can just mirror that. I don't have to draw it again, just so that this would be on the left side rather than the right. All right. So let's work on the door swings. All right. So there's that side light with two side lights on it. Uh, let's start with uh, just a regular swing door. I'm going to start with line and I'm going to pull down to four inches. All right. I'm going to copy that line over. Nope, not move. Copy. 
over 36 inches. I'm going to go to rectangle. Click up here at the top, move over, and type in 36 tab 1.375. So it's 1 and 3 eighths. Make sure that that did right. Actually, no, it went up instead of down. So I'm just going to move it down into place. I'm going to highlight this one. and I'm going to call it door. I'm going to highlight these two. And I'm going to highlight them and call them door. But I'm going to change the color to white. Now I need to show the door open. So I'm going to highlight the door. And I'm going to go to rotate. I'm going to click right there on the corner of that thing. And then I'm going to push R for reference, or I can come down here and just click on reference. All right, go back to that same point, click there, click over here, and then I can just open this door to 45 degree angle. For some reason, it's not one. There it goes. Just wasn't finding my 45 degree angle. Okay. I'm going to go to circle. I'm going to click in the, on the uh, hinge and go to the jam. I'm going to highlight that one jam in the door, and I'm going to trim. Go to Match Properties, click on the door, and take in that swing there. One thing I like to do about that swing is I also like to go up here to the, the line weights and I like to make that a zero. And that way, when it prints out, this is not as strong as this, and it doesn't need to be that the, the 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 line doesn't need to be as, as strong. Okay, so I'm going to go to a uh, leader, and I'm just going to make me a leader real quick. I'm going to call it 3068. Okay, just like that. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to get rid of that, that uh, arrowhead. And then I'm going to double click on the words, and I just want to highlight the zero so all I did was I, I pushed shift and the back arrow, and I'm going to superscript, superscript it. Okay, go to the end, push shift, oops, sorry, shift and back over one just to highlight that one eight, go superscript again. Now I can close the editor, and I'm going to make this uh, 45, it'll be a negative 45 or 315. And then I can just put that right in place, just like that. I'm going to highlight it, create, door, 3068. Pick point. And I like to always pick on the uh, hinge side of things. And that gives us that. And I just realized something. I just realized something. I just messed up. Actually, I didn't mess up, but I did mess up. So what I need to do is, and I'll explain why I messed up. All right, so I'm going to do a horizontal guideline there. I made these uh, four inches, and only the outside uh, walls are four inches. So I, I kind of goofed there. So I've got this. I'm going to go ahead and turn this door into a, uh, uh, no, actually, I'm not. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that. Let's let's do this. Let's, uh, no, put that back on there. Let's offset this uh, a half an inch, 0.5, in that direction, okay? And now what I want to do is I'm going to trim this off and this off. Now... This is going to be, the, the jam is going to be three and a half inches. All right. This is going to be an interior door. All right. So I'm going to highlight that, create, and let's see, I called that door 3068. Pick my point right at the hinge. Hit OK. Redefine. All right. Now that's an interior door. Okay. Now, let's make a exterior door. So I'm going to explode this. I'm going to go back to my uh, 
construction line again and on horizontal I'm going to again offset that line to a half an inch and I'm going to extend this back over by hitting uh, trim and then just pushing shift. I can uh, erase that inner line. Now I'm going to offset that line one and a half inches. Offset it one and a half inches. I'm going to offset the jams also one and a half inches. Just like that. I'm going to grab the jam and highlight it. I'm going to grab this top node and I'm going to pull it down and put it right there. Do the same with the other one. I'm going to remove this upper line. And then I'm going to trim off the guideline at the bottom. Match properties to the door, just like so. Highlight, create, door, 3068X. What does the X mean? Exterior. Pick point. Click on the hinge, and I'm a good to go. So now I have a 3068 exterior door. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to take these doors, and you, uh, the interior one anyway, and you're going to start tearing them apart and building uh, other ones. You've got... Um, <laughs> trying to find that one I just made to the interior one. Now let's just type in three O oh, six eight. Where is it? Why is it not coming up? What did I do wrong? It shouldn't it should be in the current drawing. That's weird. Oh, I know. Dumb. Door. 3068. There we go. Jesus, Pete. Click. All right. So your, your common sizes, and you can look at your paper for that, are 30282626. Okay, so just go back through this here. You can copy this. Uh, I'll just do this one with you. Okay, so I'm going to um, copy. I'll get this right in a minute. And just put it over here to the side. And then I'm going to highlight it and explode it. I'm going to get rid of this because I can't, I can't adjust that very easily. Yes, I can. Yeah, I can. Let's try it. Let's try it. So I'm going to move this. So we've got 3O, we're going to 28. Okay. So I've got 3O, excuse me, I've got three feet. And I'm going to subtract two foot eight inch. So I need to move that line four inches. Okay. So I'm just going to grab that center node and I'm going to move it over here, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to click again. I'm going to type in four inches, and it moved it for me, okay? So I'm going to highlight this. Let's see if this works, and right over here in the radius, I'm going to type in two foot eight and hit enter. Look at there. It did work. Then I can grab this, just come straight down like so, highlight that, double click on that. Now, right here, because I want to change this, I'm going to delete that, put two. I got to highlight this. So I double click. It's highlighted, but if I change it, it's going to do that. And I don't want that to do that. So I want to double click on that zero, bring it up, type in eight, hit OK. <coughs> now I have a two eight. So I'm going to highlight, create, uh, door, two eight. Six eight, pick a point. 
Okie dokie. Okay, so just keep on going until you get down to two feet. Mm. Yeah, just keep on going until you get down to two feet. And then when you, you're finished, what you can do is you can mirror this. Notice that we'll have to, the ones that we mirror, we're going to end up having to explode and change the, the, the orientation of the letters. All right. And then once you do that, and you're not going to redefine those, those will just not be blocks, then highlight it again, mirror again. Okay, so now I've got uh, I've got a right hand door, I got a left hand door, I have a right hand door, and I have a left hand door. When you get all of them done, you're going to highlight that. You're going to copy, bring it over to the side, and you're going to rotate, just like that. Now you can save all of those. Only one side will be a will remain a block. You're going to have to explode these, change the letter orientation, and but and save the drawing, but don't make those a block or it'll change all of these others as well. If you want to and you wanted to have all of those, you could name them uh, door 3068 uh, left hand, uh, right hand, Left hand up, left hand down. I don't know. It would just be confusing. So I just, I don't, I just have one of these that are blocks and the rest of them are just uh, drawings that I can come by. So let me, let's talk about this, uh, the bifold door. I think the rest of these you can kind of grab. Follow the pocket door, obviously, 3068. This is set on the center of that. But then this line, I'm sorry, it's one piece. This line right there is going to be 36 inches from the split jam. So let's talk about the bifold door. It's really easy when you think about it, but let's, let's do this real quickly. So I'm going to start off with my jam at 3.5 inches. I'm going to, this is a 4.0, six eight bifold door which is double a two oh six eight uh door so you know once you draw one you can draw the other okay i'm going to offset this uh two feet like that then i'm going to draw um uh, actually i'm going to offset i'm like this even no i'm just going to click on the the um rectangle and I'm going to pull out and I'm going to type in 12 tab and if I'm not mistaken those are one foot or one inch wide so I'm going to make that one inch wide I'm going to rotate that 45 degree angle just like so then I'm going to highlight it mirror on that point right there Okay, I'm going to match my, my properties. I'm going to change these two to white. Now, I have the 2068 bifold door. To make a 4068 bifold door, I'm just going to mirror on that point right there. Make sure that I get my jam, too. I should have highlighted my jam as well. All right, and then I can get rid of that center jam. Now, I have a 4068 by fold door. That's how simple it is. All right, work on that. If uh, you have any questions, as always, give me a text, and I will start uh, working on others.